We are going to be crafting seven new chest plates inside Minecraft, but you should never, ever, ever craft these, ever. I mean that, never craft these. The first most useless chest plate that we're going to be crafting is actually going to be crafted after we have gone around and gathered up some cash. Dairy Farmers Unite because we have got loads of leather and we're going to craft a leather tunic really fast and then run over to the side over here. I believe if I remember correctly, there was a lava pit. Don't know if you call that a pit or just like a droplet of lava. Pick up that really fast. Run back to our crafting table and we can actually take this leather tunic, which is fairly basic, but we want to bring basic down below basic level. Drop that in the craft table with our bucket of lava and we craft a burnt leather chest plate it is the original leather but that lava has poured over the top of it and completely incinerated pick this thing up and put it on we do get some armor however it looks fairly dark oh and what is happening we're dropping coal Ooh! it looks like as we're going around <laughs> That leather's being burned down because of the lava into coal. And we actually, so I guess that's pretty decent. If you need some coal, throw on a burnt leather chest plate. You got yourself plenty of coal. But the only thing this chest plate can produce is coal. I mean, seriously, check this out. Inside of our crafting table, I have got one diamond here that I found. And we've got our burnt leather chest plate there in the center. We're going to place the diamond in the crafting table. What could you predict would happen? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, while you're on that long road down there, why don't you check to make sure that subscribe button is turned gray? If it's not, go ahead and click it right now. Only like 18% of you guys are subscribed. But let's toss this diamond into the crafting table with that burnt leather chest plate. And the... <laughs> literally turns our diamond into a piece of coal. Do we dare do it? I don't know if we should. Maybe we should just hold on to our diamond. Ah, worthless chest plate gone down into coal. It would have been better just to hold on to it, produce the coal that it produces like every two seconds. Go back and gather up the remnants of our worthless chest plate. The second chest plate that you should never be crafting inside Minecraft, you are going to see how worthless this thing is just based off the material. We're going to craft a chest plate using glass bottles. I don't know exactly how this is going to work out. It looks highly fragile. When you actually fight mobs with the glass chest plate, oh gosh. Okay, looked at the Enderman, get away, and also is doing a ton of damage because whenever we're hit by the enderman it says some of the glass broke careful for sharp pieces okay buddy i get it i think the glass shard successfully scared off the enderman but check this out anytime we take damage from a mob come hit me just an easy hit back it up back it up easy hit we're going to also take extra damage because the glass is breaking around us as the mobs are hitting us. The chat's literally letting us know, dude, your glass, be careful for the sharp pieces. I'm curious if this is also going to happen if we take fall damage. Here we go, jumping off, checking for fall damage. It does break. You even hear it break as, it, as, it, as you fall. And when you hit the ground, it sounds like the chest is breaking. Jump. <laughs> this chest plate never wear this never ever wear this the only good thing about this chest plate is that because you've got the glass bottles it actually stores a lot of air inside the chest you are able to survive underwater due to the air storage that's inside the chest run right around this side jumping in the water and we don't have to worry about losing air because of all of the air in the chest. There's nothing on our head, but I guess all the bubbles just bubbling up to our face, right into our nostrils are keeping us alive and we can survive as long as we want. Only wear the chest plate for this sea exploration. Facing mobs, the glass shards, highly dangerous. If you've ever wanted to lock yourself in prison for a lifetime, then our third chest plate is the chest plate for you. However, if you want to stay out of prison, never craft this chest plate. We're essentially crafting a prison 
on our back. Inside the crafting table, we're going to need a lot of iron ingots, six to be exact, left side and right side, and then iron bars in the center. And we craft the iron bars chest plate. Now this thing, anytime we put it on, watch what happens. Throw on the iron chest plate and we get put inside of a bedrock iron prison. Just locks us inside. We can't get out of this thing. We can try as much as we want, but there is no way out. We are stuck inside of our prison. The only way to remove the prison is to actually take the chest plate off and it instantly gets removed. So the only time it really makes sense to use this chest plate is if you find yourself in an incredibly sticky situation and you really gotta quickly throw on a chest plate so that nothing can get to you. This skeleton, helpless because we're locked in prison. You can't shoot arrows through prison. I mean, that one got to me before the chest plate was on. So they got one arrow in, but now homeboy over there is just looking a little helpless. Can't do anything, decides to walk away and then take the chest plate off and sneak up on him. Give me your guts. Come on, get out of here. Being helpless inside of prison, a decent defense mechanism, but honestly not the best way to get out of a sticky situation. As soon as you put that prison back off or take it all back down you're just stuck in the situation you were in to begin with we gotta move on to our fourth chest plate which is going to be crafting the most fragile chest plate or i say chest plate but i really mean like a flying device that is toxic before we do that we're going to craft one two three iron swords and then use these iron swords with some feathers to craft ourselves a dangerous feather chest plate. This thing is supposed to be soft and cuddly, but you've got the iron swords here that are actually chopping it in half. The reason this is useless though, is that when you put this on, you don't expect it to be chopped in half straight away. If we jump, we get levitation for about two seconds and then we just fall down and our chest plate is completely destroyed. It's gone, completely. Nowhere to be found. Let's quickly craft a couple more of these if we can. Get some more sticks here real fast. I wanna see just how bad this feather dangerous destruction chest plate actually is. Throw on this chest plate, watch what happens if we jump off the edge here. And we have levitation and then it goes away and we take damage right after. So can put on this feather chest plate and if it's a short distance or flying up somewhere we're good for that sort of but if we try to use a dangerous feather chest plate and say oh gosh okay it just is a little bit aggressive let's say we try and jump off with the feather chest plate on just a quick run and jump and then we literally just fall to our death because the iron swords have chopped the feathers in half, completely destroying the chest plate. And now we have to start over from scratch. If we would have landed safely in the water, we would have been great for our next chest plate because we got to find some salmon in order to make that. But our spawn location, pretty decent. You will not survive. And using some raw salmon, we can craft our next chest plate, which is going to be the nastiest of them all. All we do is place our salmon in the usual chest plate layout and we get this disgusting looking fishy chest plate. Throw this thing on and we get poison whenever we're wearing this because, okay, take it off. The fish is literally rotten. We haven't cooked it. <laughs> it's just old smelly fish sitting on our chest and watch what happens when we run with the smelly fish near mobs or villagers throw this on everything is getting poisoned around us grab that because we're gonna need some meat to cook run over to villagers the golem even is being poisoned all of the villagers just got knocked because the chest plate smells so bad okay we're about to die take it off and everyone's safe the golem's almost dead look at this guy the smell of this chest plate must be absolutely horrific but as long as we're prepared with a few resources to recharge ourselves we can just quickly throw on the chest plate and we're able to knock out anything within like 15 20 blocks it looks like throw this on pig 
Dead. Other pig over there? Instantly dead. <laughs> the smell of this must be absolutely disgusting. I have got two more chest plates that I want to show you guys. Two more pieces of armor that you should never be crafting. <laughs> Let's have some of those pork chops that we got from our rotten salmon. This one is going to really change the game or provide some transportation. With some diamonds, we're going to do a half diamond, half ender pearl chest plate. Now, this thing looks decent when it's on. It definitely doesn't look like the raw fish. It doesn't smell as bad as the raw fish, that's for sure. But the ender pearls run deep in this chest plate. If we go down very carefully, because if we take any damage, we are going to be randomly teleported to a location nearby. So I want to get down here, hopefully without taking some damage. There we go. Very carefully moving down, moving down. And even if we get down, we've got to watch ourselves in case anytime shot with an arrow and teleported back to the surface right away we just get just do instantly somewhere random on the map i think we might be able to get back down with another teleport though let's just go and jump down take some damage oh we're in a completely different biome there's the biome we were in we got jumped over to this biome over here take some damage over here oh i'm so glad we did not get teleported into the sky completely can i fall down there without taking damage maybe did I get teleported right to, back to the top of the tree? I have no idea where we ended up, folks. We're in a completely random location now. Can we go down here? Nope. Back up to the biome we initially got teleported in. Oh, we got... This is totally different now. If you're going to rock the enderpearl chest plate, make sure you're never taking damage. Otherwise, you can't really target where you're headed. You just kind of randomly jump into an area that you weren't expecting. I wonder if the lava will also teleport us. Let's just briefly touch it. We've got our enderpearl chest plate on. Just going to step into the lava. And will the burn continue? If we do get teleported, will the lava stick around? Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, it does stick around. Okay. We're continuously teleporting because we're still burning. And then we finally teleported into the water to get the burn off. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta take off this chest plate. Whew. That's a little intense. Get rid of our ender pearl chest plate, and we're going to try for our final chest plate to be the first people ever in Minecraft to wear water. And we're going to craft ourselves a water chest plate. Now, in order to do so, of course, we're going to need a lot of water. So let's pick up these buckets. And then inside of our crafting table, place all of the buckets in the usual chest plate layout. And we get ourselves the water chest plate, which actually, surprisingly so, does give us armor, which doesn't feel like it makes any sense whatsoever. Oh, we get our buckets right back. We just use the water. How are we holding this? It is literally a total water chest plate, but we got our buckets back. Let's craft a couple more. Easy does it, easy does it. This is the moment of truth right here. Three water chest plates. We're gonna be putting on water. What's going to happen? Three, two, one. It literally just falls off. As soon as we put the water chest plate on, it just falls down. It took us eight buckets of water to craft this chest plate. It holds up just fine in our hand. And then we put it on and it instantly falls off. Get out of the water. This armor's useless. It says five armor, but you can't even wear it. Literally, I want the armor. I really want the armor. I'm in a sticky situation and I can't do anything about it. I try to put it on and it just instantly falls off. That's even more useless than the dangerous feather chest plate. 